Hey, King J, what we tell him? Tell him. Back on. Back on. Back on. Back on. Back on. Yo, Negan. I'm going to do the scout on you. But can you ask the developers to make you top tier at least, please? Because I'm kind of struggling to use you right now. Don't ask me for shit. Oh, hello? Yo, what's going on people? Gonna teach you Negan's punishment and a couple other things. So first off, his first punishment is 10 frames, which is 1, 2, 4. So he has that. 11 frames is 2, 2, which, which it forces crouch. It's entirely up to you. If you wanna go for more damage, you'd go for a 12 frame punish, you'd probably go for this, more damage. But if you want an attack that forces crouch, it's up to you. 13 frames is 1 plus 2. It's a nice damage, 48 damage. And against the wall, 48 damage. Not cool. But if you want extra damage from that, you can do 4 circle forward 1 and down 3 plus 4. Not cool. Like that. So that's all. You can use that for like some stuff that push back, you can use it for a lot of stuff that push back, like for example. Uh, Paul's death fist or the last hit of demo man is you can get also the forward one. I'm unsure about here to use forward or two. I haven't tried it yet, but a lot of stuff that push back it will work. 15 frames is down forward two. Down, you can use down forward two and hold to go into his stance, but we'll talk about that a bit later on. While standing punishment, 11 frames is while standing is while standing four, and then his 14 frame is while standing three two. And he's 15 frames is while standing too, which is that. Okay, so he has 1 plus 3, which is good because it leaves him close. 2 plus 4, and then he has up forward 1 plus 2. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. 40 damage. I'm unsure, I don't think you can actually. Uh, I don't think you could reverse enough. We're gonna try it now. This is the first time I've never really done a running tackle track in reverse enough. It's over. But we're gonna try it. It's over. Yeah, you can't reverse enough. Broke down a list of key moves you can use with this character. So, you know, he has. Back three, I think back three is quite linear. So if you're gonna do this, do it against the wall. Uh, oh counter hit, you get one, goodness. two, four as a combo. Just look out for that. When oh you, when you, you can hear it because it's got different sound effects, and it gives them that type of sway stumble. So that's cool. Down back four is a good tool. The reason why I think it's a good tool is because oh on counter hit, you get goodness. pretty good things. You've got a uh, for people that are fighting against the Eagle, if, you, if this happens, you have to press forward rather than back. If you press back, then it will lead you into more, more stuff. Oh but yeah, my you can do goodness. If they don't go, if they don't hold forward, then yeah, they get hit. Also as well, you've got one, two, two, which is pretty cool. And then you have one, two, four. You could mix it up between one, two, and don't do anything. Maybe do a low or something like that. Or you could do the actual full thing. Now the reason why this is useful is because people try to do duck the one, two, four because one, two, four is high. But if they duck, that happens. Then you get a full combo. So look out for that. Down forward one, two, three is cool. The reason why this is cool because it does fake free damage. Okay, so that move. The down forward, you could use down forward uh, one, down forward one, two. But be careful because you can get punished. So, like I'm showing you now, you can get punished. So, just just be careful what you what you're doing. With it. So, take that off. So we got back to do this, like this is home. So you can use this by yourself. Even though it doesn't do much damage, just do it by yourself. And then when you're ready to try and get counter hit, 
oh, kind of fish for counting it like goodness. this. Shit, oh, you get yeah. 68 damage. Oh my goodness. And same with uh, forward two. Use forward two by itself. <laughs> Oh my goodness! But if you get counted with four two two, feels good. God damn. Sounds good. You get a lot of uh, you get fifty damage. Fifty damage is pretty cool. Those both of those moves are punishable, by the way. If you do both of this stuff, so back two two is punishable. Uh, four two two is punishable. Not that punishable though. And then you got down two. So down two is minus nine from what I know. So this move is 17 oh, by itself. My goodness. Holy and then 50 damn. if you get a counter hit. So the Negan is like is good for fishing for counter hit. Up forward four. Now up forward four is a good move because it's pretty damn. quick, covers range. So around here, covers range. <laughs> counter hit. Oh my goodness. You get a combo. So Oh my goodness. So you can get a combo from that, which is pretty cool. And it's safe as well, you can't punish it. 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. The one, 1, 4, 2 is pretty cool. The reason why this is cool is you could just do 1, 4 by, one, four by itself. It could be used as a 10 frame punish as well. Oh uh, my goodness! But if you do one four two, it does that. Oh my goodness! And then you get like down three plus four as well. So you have two one four, which is a low. You get a low extension at the end. So this is a low extension at the end. So if you see him using his back like this, because the only thing you get from two. Right. The thing thing gets from two is the bat, but if he does this and punch, more than likely he's gonna end with a low. That's what you're gonna look out for. That like, this is like probably week one stuff where people are not gonna know, but when you notice these things, you'll be like, oh yeah, I noticed that string. So yeah, back one two is good for catching people coming. So this, that's the smooth. You know, you're just doing jab, 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 and then you just do this. So, <laughs> oh my counter hit you get. Yeah, combo. So just look out for this one. This one's very good. It catches people and it's got a lot of range as well. <laughs> oh my so goodness. From about here, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got range. So just be careful. And then other things he has is down forward. Hold on, let's do this back. That full one plus, that full one plus two. That's I would say that's for combo ender. Pretty cool. Then he has full one plus two, which is his launcher. So this is his. Uh, I think he's the only character to have power crush launcher. I might be wrong, but yeah. And then down forward two is a very good move. Obviously, that's his 15 frame punish. But not only that, if you hold two, he goes into stance. Now that's good for like wall combos, setups and stuff like that as well. But we're gonna go into intimidation stance as well. Down forward three one two. Uh, down forward three one four is a good combo ender. Depending on where you are on the stage, and depending on how many hits. If you've done a lot of hits, maybe four four three two would be good. Or you could run up to him and then just do four three two. So it's entirely up to you. So. Good moves, good keep out moves as well, or annoying moves with 4 4 4. Oh, this move could be sassy, so be careful. Uh, 4 4 2 as well, but at max range, you can do 4 4, four, four 2 and not get punished. But close up, you can get punished. Some people do 4 4 2 and then do down 4 2 as well. That's like the move. So just be careful. And um, yeah, so that's a really good move. And the shove as well. Shove is really good. You know why shove is good? <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, I, don't know, I don't know why I did that. Right. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so in shove it, it makes you go into stance. So you could do whatever you want in intimidation stance. So, but that's only on counting. So just be careful. So that like, you could just throw this move out. You're not gonna get punished for it. You could, as soon as you, oh as soon as you hear that, that noise. 
Short turn. It's forward two three. Very awkward move. Uh, it's like a side step. Weep. I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird unorthodox move. It's like it just evades things. It's pretty cool. And also got side step two. Side step two is a high. But you know, if it hits you, that's a stun. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do. I'm back one plus two, by the way. Back one plus two. I don't know why I never mentioned that. This is oh the last two that I didn't have. So back one plus two. Oh, you, hit, you, get, you get a combo. On a normal hit, you don't. It just hits you back. So these moves are really annoying. But yeah, this is the. This is. Oh my goodness. Right, for wall combos, wall combos he has down forward 3, 1, 4, so forward 1. Dude, down forward 3, 1, 4, but you have to delay it. Like that. No, there's. You can delay it even, even more than that. Like that. And then. That's 63 damage. And you also have. Going into stance again, and then you, you can do whatever you want in Intimidation Stance. Now we're going to talk about Intimidation Stance and why it's so... It's alright, I think it's good that he doesn't have any anything low. That's annoying. So, intimidation Stance you could do with 3 plus 4. You could do with his Infamous Taunt, which is this. I'll explain that after when I talk about Intimidation. Um, <laughs> or you could do it from move, so like down forward three two is a move. It's why it's so down forward three two is one of these key stuff to get into a combo. The reason why I didn't put it down in the key moves is because it's very what's the word? Like people at medium to high level when you start to get this. This move is not really that good. But you know, if you want to use that move down forward three two down forward four two, sorry. Is a move to use, and from this you could do anything in intimidation stuff. You just have to hold it, choose one, two. So he has one, two, which is this, which tail spins. You can hit confirm this like that. You could delay it. It's very, very like the hit confirm is it's, it's so easy. As soon as you see it. Just do this two from intimidation, and you get a free down two plus four. The unblockable grab, which you can do by pressing one plus three. So I'll show you again. Okay, so walking forward allows you to do low parry. It's an automatic low parry, by the way. So. Yeah. I'm gonna send him to walk forward, watch. And you get a combo from this. <laughs> if you stand still, it works as well. But walking back, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Like walking back. So, yeah, look out for that as well. But yeah, it's pretty it's cool. And also in this stance as well, you get one plus two, which is his, which is his power crush. So if, as, if we could set him to do it. Uh, you can't punish it. No punish. I'm gonna mash one. I'm gonna mash one. That's what I wouldn't do. Yeah, you can't, you can't punish it. <laughs> so you just have to duck. <laughs> yeah. So that's it in terms of intim intimidation stuff. He has free as well, which is a good move. <laughs> but on counter hit, let me try and do that again. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get nothing from them. It just pushes them back. So I wouldn't put it in a move that you would use against this character to be honest. But yeah, that's about it when it comes to the intimidation stuff. So oh, on the counter hit, you get a combo. Mm. That's from Intimidation. That's Intimidation 4. Back, 2 plus 3. And if I want it to hit straight down, I'll leave it and not do anything. If I want it to go forward, do the wall bounce, I'll press forward uh, or hold forward. And if I want it to go on the other side of me, which makes it go all on the other side, like Kuba's Rage Drive, I would hold back. So, prime example is like this. Oh, yeah. That's the move. I held back for him to go on the other side of me. If I want him to go straight down, I get a combo and I can still tail spin off this. And then. Do that. Or whatever else you want to do, it's totally up to you. Ooh, you could do that as well. You know, the cutscene is quite long. <laughs> Not cool. No! 